Now, the thing is, we are doing lesson number uh, 20 today, or 19, is it 19? 18, I'm jumping, huh? I'm too anxious to finish the book. Huh? Lesson number 18. Brother and sisters, brothers and sisters, lesson number 16 and 17 are very crucial for revision. So that the new concept is very well understood with you. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So try to revise 16 and 17. Eh? Every line of it, every line should be understood. Eh? Because that concept, if you understand very well, things will be very easy for you. Okay? Now, Ya Abdus Samad, Hal Zahabta Al Masjid Al Yom? Mata Zahabta? Zahabta Kabla. You went before Salah, not after Salah. Zahabta, Zahabtu Kabla Salah. Or Zahabtu Kabla Al Azani. Kabla Al Azani. Salah T. Okay, Mudafilahi. متى رجعت من المسجد؟ بعد الصلاة. بعد الصلاة. أريد. but you have to say رجعت نا. do not let us all. when you say بعد الصلاة we understand that you return but we want to practice properly. are you with me? بدر حسن هل ذهبت إلى المسجد اليوم؟ متى ذهبت يا أخي؟ ذهبت قبل قبل الأذان. ما شاء الله. متى رجعت من المسجد؟ رجعت بعد الصلاة. ما شاء الله. You got the idea, brother and sisters? No, this is he's talking Arabic, brother. You are speaking Arabic now. Simple sentence. الحمد لله. الحمد لله. So, sister Maramuna, هل ذهبت إلى المسجد اليوم؟ ما شاء الله متى ذهبت يا أختي؟ ما شاء الله ومتى رجعت من المسجد؟ بعد الصلاة. practice these things. إن شاء الله. ما اسمك يا أخي؟ اسمي اسمي محمد. Now we got to polish it so that we can say it nicely. اسمي محمد. ما اسمها؟ اسمها سلمى. ما شاء الله. وما اسمه؟ اسمه سلمى. سلمى. اوكي؟ ما اسمك يا اختي؟ حفصه. اسمي؟ حفصه. ما اسمها؟ اسمها. اسمها. You have to say it properly. اسمها. اوكي؟ ما اسمك يا اختي؟ ما اسمها؟ وما اسمها؟ وما اسمه؟ محمد. See, I say must. Why must? Because Hamzatul Wasal. Are you with me? And then we say ism, because the ism is starting the sentence. Remember, Hamzatul Wasal. Inshallah, keep that in mind. We we will practice. You know, you should practice yourself. Must muka. Okay, masmuha, masmuhu, okay, all singulars, because in plural uh, it will change. If you say, uh, if you say kum, then we cannot say masmu kum, ma asmau kum, ma asmau kum, like that. So we don't go in plural, just do singular, okay, inshallah, and practice, because you should be. You should answer with confidence and with uh, fluency, inshallah. It, it will come by practicing, inshallah. Okay. Now, brothers and sisters, as I have said previously, this book concentrates on nouns. Huh? So most of the time, we were dealing with marfu. And then we learn majroor. Harfchar is a majroor. And then mudaf, mudaf ilahi. Mudaf ilahi is also majroor. And then we did zarf and mudafilehi. Again, mudafilehi is majroor. Huh? We did that. Huh? Now, for the first time, we are coming across mansub noun. Whenever mansub will come, 
we will have to figure out what it is. Okay? Whenever now will be marfu, we have to know why it is marfu. And when the now is mansub, we must know why it is mansub. But now one form of mansub is coming. Huh? One form of mansub is coming. And it is a singular form. And it is indefinite. I want you to watch how it is written. How it is spelt. Huh? Okay. Here comes to our first question. Lesson number 18. Adarfu thaminu ashara. Al-Mudaris. Tam akhan laka ya Muhammadu. Tam akhan. No, akhan. Do you see akhan? Do you see what it is? Mansu. Uh, why it is Mansu? Huh? We are going to learn. Huh? When we go in book 3, brothers and sisters, the first lesson is a very big lesson, book 3. It tells us everything about why the noun is Marfu, why the noun is Mansu. Huh? And if there is a noun which is Mansu, what are the possibilities? What does it tell us? The sentence will show us the reason for it being Mansu. Okay. So there are about ten different reasons why the noun is Mansu. Okay. The most common reason for the noun to be Mansu, the most common reason is to become an object of the verb. That is the most common. But again, we are, we, I'm just uh, telling you a few things as an outline. Huh? Most common reason for the noun to be mansub that it is most probably object of an verb. Huh? Okay, we will inshallah learn. Okay, if I say Muhammadun Talibun. So Muhammad is a mubtada. Sahih. Okay, marfu. Now if I say Ra'aitu. What is the meaning of Ra'aitu? I saw. Then the, I'm asking that verb a question. Saw what? Because if, if I say I saw, the sense is not complete. Tell me more. What did you see? Huh? So sometimes, you know, with the verb, the, the sense does not come because it needs an object to make a complete sense out of the sentence. Otherwise, it is incomplete. So, in English, I say, I saw Muhammad in the souk. I saw Muhammad in the souk. So, in English, I will be subject, saw will be verb, and, and Muhammad will be object. Huh? Okay? But then, in, in English, the Muhammad remains Muhammad throughout. But if I say it in Arabic, I will say, Ra'aitu Muhammadan. What will you say? Ra'aitu Muhammadan. Why? Dan? Because it is an object. Eh? For the verb Ra'aitu. How do you see? Now this thing, brothers and sisters, I'm only telling you now. We are not studying it now. Because they will come in lesson number five in book two. Eh? Lesson number five starts to explain us the object of the verb. And by that time we'll be stronger in the verbs and I'll be explaining you many things before that. So it will become very easy and very, very interesting, inshallah. Okay? Now that is the most common form of mansub. We have other forms of mansub. For example, mafulun mutlak. Okay? It sounds very... Uh, mysterious, exotic, mafulun mutlak. But it is so beautiful, brother. This is such a beautiful style in Arabic language. Mafulun mutlak. Okay, we will learn soon. It is also mansu. But you know, you always say mafulun mutlak without realizing it. When somebody does you a favor, what do you say? Shukran. Brother, what did you say? Shukran. It is mansu. Do you see? Shukran. How will you write shukran?
Do you say shukran badahasan? Is it mansub? Yes. How do you analyze this in Arabic language? This is mafulun mutlaq. Also, we say afwan. Huh? If you, afwan means you are welcome or don't mention. We used to say in olden days, don't mention. When somebody says thank you, don't mention. Nowadays, American style, you are welcome. <laughs> okay. So, shukran is thank you and afwan is you are welcome. But they are both in the same way. Huh? They are both mafulun mutlaq. Huh? But we are going to study them slowly, slowly. Around the middle of book two, when we do verbal nouns, what did I say? What is the meaning of verbal nouns? Nouns derived from verbs. Huh? When we do that verbal noun, then I will start mentioning uh, uh, these mafulun mutlaq, slowly, slowly. The lesson mafulun mutlaq is lesson 29 in book 3. But it is so beautiful. But I will be doing it slowly, slowly, so that by the time that lesson comes, you are ready for it. Huh? Inshallah, you will love it. Huh? And it comes in the Quran all the time. Huh? Okay, brother and sister. So, one is mafulun mutlaq, then other is hal. What did I say? Hal. hal. What is the meaning of hal? Hal kaisa hai janab ka? Kya khayal hai aap ka? <laughs> so this is hal, the condition. You know, the action took place in what condition? Huh? So that is again mansu. Then we have mafulul ajli, that is also mansu. And then other, our zarfs are all mansub most of the time. See, baada, kabla, what are they? Mansub, right? They are mansub. Huh? Now we are doing something else, which is also very beautiful, brother. It, that technical term is tamiz. What is it? Tamiz. Huh? Probably there is no translation of that in English. I don't know. Maybe there is, you know. Actually, it is tam yiz. What is it? Tam yiz. Huh? But in, we always say, when we say quickly, tamiz. Huh? Now, tamiz is a noun. And it is mansub. And it comes, okay, it comes <coughs> in the sentence, okay, to to remove any ambiguity, huh? to remove any ambiguity, okay. I just give you one word. Ana akbaru minka. What did I say? Ana akbaru minka. What is the translation? I am older than you. Or I am bigger than you. Did it make any sense? It did not make any sense. Did it make any sense? What way you are bigger than me, brother? You didn't tell me. Huh? So now I will tell you. Now this is just an outline. We are going to study this in detail. Huh? So just try to understand as much as you can. And if you miss out something, don't worry. Okay. Ana akbaru minka sinnan. I am older than you in age. So sinnan I used Tamiz, I say, to, dis to dispel any ambiguity. Huh? Are you with me? So it is mansu, it comes, it is in a singular form, it is indefinite, and it is mansu. I give you another example. Ana akbaru minki. I am bigger than you. In what way? Then I'll say malan. What is the meaning of malan? Money. I'm, you know, I'm richer than you. In what way? In money. So malan came. So malan will be your tamiz. Huh? This is just 
I, you know, I try, try, I'm trying to explain you in as simple a way as possible. All of them are coming in, in uh, lesson number four in uh, book two. Uh, they are coming in. Okay. Now, whenever you will use come in the sentence, what did I say? What is the meaning of come? <clears throat> come. How many? Is it clear how many? No, it's not clear. In how many of what? Are you with me? How many of what? Huh? Then I bring tamiz. What will I bring? I will bring tamiz. Huh? So after come in the simplest form, will come tamiz. It will be indefinite noun, singular noun, and it will be mansub. Okay? For example, tam kitaban indaka. What will be the translation? How many books you have? Are you with me? Kam kalaman indaki. How many? Kam sayaratan indaki. Kam baitan indaki. Are you see after kam I am using baitan, sayaratan, kitaban, kalaman. No, these are all mansu. So what is this kalaman? Tamihis. What will you call it? Tamihis. Huh? Tamis. Tamihis. Huh? This is very beautiful, brother. Okay? And uh, if I tell you, Kam Kitaban Indaka, hmm? Kam Kitaban Indaka, okay, this is a question. Okay? But Indaka, you know, what is Indaka? Zarf and Mudafili. Say? Indaka is zarf and mudafile. Can it be mubtada? No. Huh? Jar majur, zarf mudafile can never be mubtada. Huh? Never. And so that is your zarf and mudafile. It is not mubtada. And then kitaban, what is kitaban? It's tamiz. Then what is kam? Mubtada. <laughs> you know, in a sentence like that, we can easily analyze. The kam is muktada. Where is the khabar? That is tamiz. Where is the khabar? No, that is tamiz. Tamiz cannot be khabar. I say kam kitaban indaka. What is indaka? That is inda is your zarf shibu jumla khabar. And what is ka? Mudafili. You got the idea? Now this is in the simplest form. Huh? Inshallah. But we are not going to analyze that. We are only trying to understand that after come, there is a noun, mansub, it is indefinite, it is singular, and we call that mansub noun, tamiz, huh? inshallah. Well, and it comes in the Quran, many times, in the different forms, and we will study it, inshallah. The lesson for tamiz is also coming. I think lesson 27 or 28 in book 3. Okay? These are all advanced lessons. Dr. Abdurrahim has put them at the end of the book. You know? Before that you will become very strong in most of the other aspects. And then these are, all these hal, tamiz, maful, mutlaq, these are all cherries on the cake. You know, you make a cake, then your final decoration is you whip cream and then on top of it, you put cherries. So these are coming at the end of book three. But whenever it will come, I will explain you so that slowly, slowly we get stronger. Okay, brother. Another thing I must point out. You have to see the whole sentence. If I am asking you about your family, your children, your brothers, your sisters, then I am using... Jar Majroos as Laka or Lucky. If I am asking you for things like pen, cars, books, houses, keys, even money, then I am using Enda. Are you with me? 
that for families, children, brothers, sisters, we will use laka or lucky. And then for other things, we'll use endaka or in the key. Huh? And your answer will be accordingly. Huh? Inshallah. Watch the answer. And you will see it's very beautiful and very easy. Kam akhan laka ya Muhammad. Kam akhan, akhan, see? You know, what is akhan? Tamiz. Kam huh? akhan laka ya Muhammad. What is the answer? Li akhun wahidun. Li akhun wahidun. But it was laka which changed into li. What is li? How many words are li? How many words? This is two. What are they? Li harf chat and pronoun ya mutakallim. So it is jarun or majrun. So it has come in the beginning. When Jarun, Majrun will come in the beginning, or Zarf and Mudaf Ilahi will come in the beginning, most of the time they are Khabar. And then most of the time you will see the Mubtada indefinite. You will see Mubtada indefinite. Most of the time. Okay. What is the answer? Li Akhun Wahidun. Okay. I have one brother. So where is our Mubtada? Akhun, that's Sahih, Muhammad. Brother, what is Wahidun, Brother Salman? Akhun, I know it is one. But in Arabic, what will you call it? Akhun Wahidun. Khun Dun. Na, 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 na. Badal, you know, Ismu Ishara has to come. <laughs> you you seem to like Badal very much. <laughs> no, Naat Manut. What is it? Akhun Wahidun is? Naat Manud. Where is, where is Naat? Wahidun. Where is Manud? Akhun. Huh? So Akhun is our Muftida. Now, brother and sister, yesterday we practiced. What did we practice? Dual. You know how to make dual. But in this lesson, only Marfu form. Huh? Make a dual of this. Kalamani. Huh? Make the dual of this. Kitabani. Are you with me? All you do is. Ani, do it Ani, it's very simple. Fine. Wa kam ukhtan laka. See, kam ukhtan. What is ukhtan? Tamiz. Okay, laka. How many sisters do you have? What is the answer? Li ukhtani. I have two sisters. Li ukhtani. Now, if you have things fresh in your mind, of what we did yesterday, then you will answer it, inshallah. What is Li? Jar Majrur, Shibu Jumla, Khabar. Try to say Khabar Mukaddam. What will you say? Mukaddam means it came in advance. Mukaddam means it came in advance. I will write down Mukaddam. And what is the other one? The opposite of this. Mokhar huh? means late. Mokhaddam means comes in advance. Okay, brothers and sisters. Li jar majur shibu jumla khabar. What is ukhtani? Ukhtani. It's only one word. What is it? Mubtada. Mubtada. Okay, it is mubtada. One word. Ukhtani means two sisters. Are you with me? Now remember, we are used to seeing Dhamma at the end for marfu. Mubtada is always marfu. So you saw Li Akhun. Now you did not see Dhamma. So is Ukhtani Marfu? Naam. What is the alamat? Arif Mashallah. So this is now we are getting sharp. That we see Ukhtani, if you see dual with Ani, it is always Marfu. And what is the sign of it being Marfu? It's Alif. 
Father, you are doing very well, Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. That was good, Sister Mahmuna. That was excellent. Kam ajalatan liddarrajati ya hamid. How many wheels huh? to the bicycle? Kam ajalatan liddarrajati. Huh? See, liddarrajati came. So the answer is laha ajalatani. What is the meaning of laha? It has two wheels. Huh? What is laha? Jar majur. Shibujum la khabar. Where is our mubtada? Ajalatani. Is it marfu? Yes. yes. What is the sign? Alif. Mashallah, mashallah. Okay. Brother, come Eidan. Wow, Eid. We are talking about Eid. Huh? Come Eidan. Fissanati ya Zakaria. How will you translate? Come Eidan. How many Eid? In the year, ya Zakaria. Huh? Are you with me? So what is Eidan? Tamiz. What is it? Tamiz. Huh? After come, it is Tamiz. Whenever you see come, it is Tamiz. Okay. That, that word, the noun which is, after come, the noun which is Mansub is Tamiz. Fissanati Eidani. In the year, there are two Eids. So, Fissanati, Char Majur, Shibu Jumla Khabar, and Eidani is our Mubtada, and it is Marfu, and the Alamat of Rafa is Alif, inshallah. Huma Eidul Fitri wa Eidul Adha. Are you with me? All you translate? Huma, they are. Eidul Fitra and Eidul Ada. Fine brother. What is Huma? First time Huma has come as a Muftada. <laughs> Where is the Khabar? Khabar is always Marfu if it is one word. Eidu, mashallah. Excellent, beautiful brother. You know, your, your understanding pleases me a lot, mashallah. Okay, and then Wahua Mudaf, and then Eid Fitri Mudaf Ilehi, and then Wow Ataf, and then Eidu, you can say in this particular case, Mautufun Ala, the first Eidu, huh? okay, and then what is Adha? Mudaf Ilehi, it is Mudaf Ilehi, are you with me? Eidul Fitri is Mudaf Mudaf Ilehi, but Eidul Adha is mudaf, mudaf ilihi. Very good. Ya Ibrahim, Abu ka tajirun kabirun. Your dad is a rich merchant. Kam sayyaratan hindahu. Sayyaratan, tamiz. Kam sayyaratan hindahu. What is the uh, translation, brother? Uh, how many cars does he have? Uh, what is the answer? Hindahu. Sayaratani Kabiratani Wasayaratani Sahiratani. See how clever Dr. Abdurrahim is that he, he brings us simple sentences in which we can understand our Muftada Khabar and our Naat Manut. Huh? So Brother Indahu. What is Inda? Zarf. And you will say immediately Shibu Jumla Khabar. And then who? Mudaf ilahi. And where is Mubtada? Sayyaratani. And what is Kabiratani? Naat. Why it is not? Because it matches. You know, Naat must match in number. If the, if the Manut is dual, the Naat has to be dual. If the Manut is Marfu, the Naat has to be Marfu. So do you see Kabiratani Marfu? Yes. What is the sign of Marfu? Alif, mashallah, mashallah. Wa sayaratani sagiratani. And two small cars. Very good. Kam nafizatan fi gurfatika ya ismailu. What is it? Kam 
Nafizatan. What is Nafizatan? Windows. Windows. It is Tamiz. MashaAllah. It is Tamiz. Windows. Gurfat. Fi. Gurfati ka. Fi harf jar. Gurfati isam majroor. Wa huwa mudaf. And ka. Mudaf ilayhi. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Fi ha. Nafizatani. What is fi ha? Chahar majroor. Shubu jumla khabar. And what is Nafizatani? Mubtada. Marfu. And the sign of Marfu by the Salman, Alif, Mashallah, Mashallah. Liman, okay, now comes Hazani. Huh? So we have to now learn Hazani. Okay? Brother, what is this? Hada. And what is this? Are you with me? And what is this, brother? And what is this again? Singular, plural. What is dual? Haza, hazani. What is it? Ha, za, ni. Dual. So we are learning dual of hazana. And hazihi is ha ta ni look at the spelling huh? make sure we we understand the spelling huh? ha ta ni ha za ni okay fine brothers and sisters liman ha za ni daftarani look at this carefully brother hasan ha za ni daftarani what is Hazani? Ismu Shara. And what is coming after Ismu Shara? Adaf Baf. It is Badal. Mashallah. You got the idea? See the Badal? See, Brother Farooq, how the Badal came? Hazani. Pay attention, Brother. Hazani Adaf Tarani. So Adaf Tarani is your Badal. Huh? Sahi? Because it is definite and it is coming after Ismu Shara. What is the answer? Huma li. Huma mubtada. What is li? Jar majur. Shibu jumla khabar. Two words. Huh? Very good. Liman hatanil mistaratani. Are you with me? Liman hatanil mistaratani. Ruler. Huh? Then Yunus says Huma li. They are my. Got the idea? So this lesson is very easy, brothers and sisters, because thanks to Dr. Abdurrahim, he, he makes sentences very simple, and he wants to understand dual form, but only marfu form, not mansub and majroor. Huh? Okay. You know, uh, I'm sure most of us must have gone to or Umrah or Hajj. When you go to Makkah and you see all those stores, uh, sidewalks, they always shout something. You know what they shout? Realign, realign, realign. What, is, what are they saying? Two reals. But what is realign? It's not marfu form. Uh, what is the marfu form of re, uh, realun? Uh, make it dual. Rialani. Are you with me? Huh? Okay, if I say Rialun, what is the Marfu form? Uh, this is Marfu. What is dual? Rialani. What will be the Mansu form? We did it yesterday. Rialani. Huh? Ria. Ria. Laini. And again, Ria Laini. Okay? So the people are all shouting, Ria Laini, Ria Laini, Ria. They won't even say Ria Laini. They will say, Ria Laini, Ria Laini, Ria Laini. Means two reals. Why are they saying this? Not, 
Not, they are not saying realan, realan, they are saying realan. Because there is a whole sentence which they don't say, it, but we have to understand. What is it? You know, realan is a, like a dollar store. Everything is for dollar. Realan, everything is for two reals. This is what it is. Kolu shayin. Harf jar. What is it? <laughs> B. No, what will happen to Riyalani? It will become Riya Lain. B. Riya. Got the idea? So the whole sentence is hidden. All that we hear is Riya Lain, Riya Lain, Riya Lain. But it means Bi Riya Lain. Bi Riya Lain. Are you with me? Okay. But you see, probably the guy who's saying Riyalaini, he doesn't know what he's saying. <laughs> if you ask him why it is Riyalaini and what, why not Riyalaini. Okay. Whenever you will talk about price, B will come. When you will talk about price of something, uh, B half chair will come. Okay. We will study it inshallah later on. So I just thought I'll mention it to you. So keep that in mind. Because I, I want to prepare you slowly, slowly. So, the dual form, okay. Kitabani, kitabaini, kitabaini. Kalamani, kalamaini, kalamaini. Okay? So just keep it in mind. And you will be doing that exercise, huh? inshallah, in the handbook. Now, brothers and sisters, Riyalani, sign of marfu is alif. In Riyalaini, what is the sign of its being Majroor? I see Harf Jar B. Uh, yeah. Let's just keep that in mind. Huh? Keep that in mind, inshallah. So now we go to uh, uh, exercise number one, brothers and sisters. If they ask you about how many brothers you have, even if you have four brothers, you will only reply that I have two brothers. Okay, if you have four sisters, you will say, I have two sisters. And if you have no brothers, then also you will say, I have two brothers. Are you with me? Because we are practicing the use of dual, inshallah. And if these exercises, what shall I call them? We had halwapuri for a long time. These are all baklava. <laughs> these are all nice baklava from Syria. Huh? Kam kalaman indaka or indaki. Huh? Ajib, answer the following question using Muthanna only. Only dual, nothing else. So, kam kalaman indaka, how will our answer start? Indi. How will it start? Indi. Huh? It will start indi. And then, kalamani. Indi kalamani. Kam kitaban indaka or indaki. In the Kitabani. I have two books. So what did you say? In the, so in the, huh? brother and sister? In the, plus ya mutakalim. Change into, in the. Got the idea? Huh? So when you say in the, how many words are there? Two. two. What is the first word? In the. In the. Oh, that is your zarf. Shibu jumla, khabar. And what is yamata kalam? Mudafli. That's, that's how you will describe it. Uh, inshallah. Okay. And then if you say kalamani, that is your mubtada. Are you with me, brother Salman? And same way, kitabani will become your mubtada. Sahi. Now you have to understand carefully. How will you answer? Kam huh? saburatan fi faslikum. Fi fasli kum. How many words? Three. Fi harfjar. There is a sum majru. Fasli. And then it is mudaf. And what is kum? Mudaf ilahi. Are you with me? So fi fasli kum. Okay. Kam saburatan fi fasli kum. Fi fasli na. Masha'ala. Huh? Because kum will become na. Fi fasli na. Saburatani. Or, you want to make it uh, very simple, 
you say fihi what you will say in it uh, you can either you say fi faslina or you will say fihi in it uh, which is the class it is the class inshallah uh. kam riyalan indrakiya layla kam riyalan indakil alana ya layla kam riyalan indaki alana ya layla what will be the answer in the riyalan okay kam dularan indaka ya hasan in the dularani dularun will become dularani kam dularan indaki ya sumaya it's not there kam ri dularan indaki ya sumaya indi what will you say indi dularani indi dularani we are only practicing jiana kam dularan indaka ya salman indi dular i have two dularas now right now comes kam ukhtan laka ya ali kam ukhtan laka ya ali kam ukhtan laka ya ali are you with me now your answer will be li what will be li ukhtan li ukhtan ma sha allah beautiful kam amman laki kam amman laki ya amina how many chachas you have how many uncles you have what will you say li ammani ammani very good kam sadiqan laka ya muhammadu li sadiqani see you have to watch how we are using inda and li huh? very important huh? if you say you know somebody if you even ask somebody kam ukhtan inda ka that is very poor arabic kam ukhtan laka huh? okay so if you say to somebody how many friends you have kam sadiqan laka not kam sadiqan indaka that will be very poor arabic you know incorrect okay but then people in the streets will always use like that you know sometimes huh? because they they are careless you know okay but the wish if we speak if allah blesses us how to speak arabic we will speak the purest arabic the way our prophet beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam spoke and the way all the sahaba spoke <laughs> they all spoke purest arabic brother because the quran was revealed in their language which they spoke today's arabic is polluted huh? today's arabic is polluted but we inshallah as non arabs when we learn the language of the quran we will try to speak pure arabic no pure arabic is spoken but only in a in a television not in movies but in television in newscast of radios and also in all the khutbas if you hear khutbas anywhere in the middle east the imam will speak pure arabic huh? but back to street the imam will speak the polluted arabic it's a sad thing you know anyway <laughs> i don't know okay here comes another question kam taliban jadidan fi faslikum how will you say fi faslina fi faslina talibani jadidani how will you say talibani jadidani got the idea huh? fine so taliban is tamiz then what is jadidan nat nat very good kam masjidan fi karyatika ya zakaria how many mosque in your village huh? so you can say fi karyati in my village or you say fi ha ha huh? masjidani what will you say masjidani fiha masjidani 
or fi kariyati in my village. Uh, if I say fi kariyati, how many words I am using? Fi kariyati. How many words? Three, brother. One, two, and three. Huh? Are you with me? Ja majroor, muda, muda filahi. Fine. Tam fundukan fi hazashari. Okay, brothers and sisters. Tam fundukan fundukan fi hazashari. So, brother, fundukan, what is fundukan? Tamiz. Huh? What is fi? What is haza? Islam Majur. And brother Farooq, what is Ashariya? Badal, mashallah. See, now you are getting. Remember, her, you saw Islam Ashara. Then it is Badal. Huh? Okay? For sure. Okay? Inshallah. What will be the answer? Fi Shari'i. How will you answer? Fi Shari'i. Fundukani. Fundukan. Kam akhan laki ya suat. Kam akhan laki ya suat. What will be the answer? Li. Huh? Akhawani. Now we have to uh, check the spelling. Huh, brother? See, akhun. Dual is akhawani. Okay? The dual is akhawani. Huh? Akhawani. Huh? And Abun, what will be the jewel of Abun? Abavani. Abavani. Okay? When you say Abavani, it doesn't mean you have two fathers. Abavani means mother and father. Huh? Parents. Abavani will mean parents. <laughs> Fine, brothers and sisters. Come, Akhan. Laki ya swat li akhawani. See, Dr. Abdurrahim has mentioned al akhu musannahu akhawani. Got the idea? The dual of it is akhawani. Fine. Are you okay, brothers and sisters? So far, so good? Huh? You are understanding? Everything is clear? Now, Ikra waktub. What is it, brothers and sisters? Ikra waktub. Ikra waktub. Fine. Remember, the khabar is of five kinds. In our simple way. We are trying to simplify everything. Khabar is five kinds. Number one, it is mufrat. One word. When it is one word, it is always marfu. Then number two can be jar majroor, shibu jumla. Then number three can be zarf and mudafilahi. Number four, it can be jumla failure. And number five, jumla ismiya. Now jumla ismiya, people always get gabrified. But inshallah, we'll try to make it very simple inshallah. And the way I will explain you, inshallah, you'll find it, it's not difficult. Khalidun. What is it? Khalidun. Mubtada. Okay? Brother, leave that Mubtada aside. Put it on the back burner. Big, big line. Huh? Sister Salma, Brother Muhammad, put a big line after Khalidun. Now there is another sentence starting. What is the sentence? Lahu ibnani wa bintani. Fine. What is Lahu? Char majroor. Huh? And then it is khabar. But khabar for what? Ibnani. So what is Ibnani? Muqtada. What is the sign of its being marfu? Alif. Then came waw. What is waw? Ataf. Wa bintani. What will you say bintani? Ma'atufun ala Ibnani. Sister so, Salma, you got the idea? Bintani is connected by waw to Ibnani. Are you? Now, this is your sentence. So, what is this sentence doing here? It is coming as a khabar for Khalid. Are you with me? It is coming as a khabar. Did you get it, Brother Muhammad? Yes. Huh? 
ماشاء الله جملہ اسمیہ came as a خبر for مبتدہ our first مبتدہ got the idea what was our first مبتدہ خالد huh? and then we had a jumla in which we also found مبتدہ and خبر so that مبتدہ and خبر brother Salman now the whole jumla is coming as a خبر for خالد so as we know the jumla ismiya can also come as a khabar so this is your jumla ismiya coming as a khabar huh? inshallah fi hadhal bayti what is fi hadhal bayti fi afjar hadha ism majrur al bayti badal badal al bayti badal jar majrur shibu jumla khabar where is our mubtada Gurfatahni, two rooms, huh? marfu. And what is this? Kabiratani, naat, mashallah, mashallah. Again, number third. Brothers and sisters, if you have a highlighter, I want you to highlight number one and number three. Huh? Sister Nasri, highlight only number one and number three. Why? Because in these two sentences, the khabar is jumla ismiya. Whenever jumla ismiya will come as a khabar, I will ask you to highlight it. For you to understand at home, inshallah, properly. I'm sure you can understand here, but when you go home and revise, inshallah, it will come back to you with ease. Huh? This will be number one and number three. So we are doing number three. What is the sentence? Fatima, Fatima tu. What is Fatima tu? Mubtada. Leave it aside. Huh? Put a line. Sister Subhaya, put a line. Now you take another sentence. I mean the sentence which is following Fatima. Okay? And maybe if you want to put it into a bracket, put it into a bracket. Huh? And put the first sentence, Lahu ibnani wa bintani also in bracket. Okay, so that is your complete sentence coming as a khabar for Muftira. Okay, brother. Laha. What is laha? Char majur shibu jumla khabar. So what is teflani? Muftira for laha. Muftira for laha. Okay, is it marfu? Yes, it is marfu with alif. What is sagirani? Naad. So what is this sentence doing here? Laha tiflani sagirani bad Abd Samad. It is a Jumla Ismiya coming as a khabar for Mubtida Fatima. Got the idea? So if you put a bracket to emphasize this more and highlight it so that highlight will tell you that this sentence has a khabar in the form of Jumla Ismiya. Huh? Got the idea? Whenever it will come, I will be pointing out to you. And later on, brothers and sisters, inshallah, you will become very strong and you will be able to figure out. And it comes in the Quran, brother. It comes in the Quran. Huh? And you will be able to figure out, inshallah. Now, number four. Li Ainani. What is it? Li Ainani. What is the meaning of it? Two I have two eyes. Okay? So what is Li? Jahar Maju, Shubhu Jumla, Khabar. Where is Mubtada? Ainani. Is it Marfu? Why? Alif is there. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Okay, brother, then comes Wow. Ataf. What is Uznani? Mautufun Allah, Ainani. Then again Wow came. What is Yadani? Mautufun Allah, Ainani. It will go to the first. And Rijlani, Mautufun Allah, Ainani. We cannot say they are all Muptadas. There is only one Muptada, which is Ainani. And the rats are all connected to the Ainani by way of Ataf, connect, a conjunction. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Fi hazal hayji. What is the meaning of hayji? Neighborhood. Hayji, neighborhood. Sabab, neighborhood we can say. You know like you, you have Oakville, 
and then you uh, uh, you have uh, Oakville is not a city. It is a, it's, I I think I will call Oakville neighborhood or Woodbridge. Uh, okay, so uh, East York, you know these are small small things. You know uh, Richmond Hill, uh, suburb you can say suburb. Hayy means suburb you can say. Okay, fi hazal hayy. Madrasa Tani. What is it? Madrasa Tani. Okay. How will you translate? In this neighborhood, there are two schools. That's all. In this neighborhood, there are two schools. What is Fi? Haza. And what is Al Hai? Badal. It is Badal. Say. Where is our Mubtada? Madrasa Tani. Uh, but uh, so many examples with badals are coming. Huh? You, you, you are getting extra practice now. Okay, fine. Salatul Fajri, Raka Atani, Raka Atani, Salatul Fajri. How many words are there? Salatul Fajri. What kind of a compound is this? Mudaf Mudafili. So what is Salatu? Muptada wa huwa Mudaf. And Fajri is Mudafili. And where is our Khabar? Rakatani. Got the idea? Is Rakatani one word? Yes. Is it Marfu? Yes, yes it is Marfu. Very good. Lil Baiti. Yes, brother Farooq. Farooq, your question is what is the Khabar in number 5? Khabar in number 5 is. Fi Haza. Are you with me? Fi Haza is Jar Majur Shibu Jumla Khabar. And then Al Hayi is your Badal. Huh? And Madrasatani is your Muftada. Got the idea? Inshallah. Number seven, Lil Baiti. These are very simple sentences, brother. But only they are in dual form. The Muftada is in dual form. Lil Baiti, what is Lil Baiti? Jar Majur Shibu Jumla. For the house, what is for the house? There are two keys. Miftahani. Mif, Miftahani, Miftahani. Lil Baiti, Miftahani. So Miftahani is your Muftana. Huh? And Lil Baiti is your Khabar, Jar Majur Shibu Jumla Khabar. لِمَنْ هَاتَا نِلْ بَقَرَتَانِ لِمَنْ هَاتَا نِلْ بَقَرَتَانِ What is your answer? هُمَا لِلْفَلَّاحِ هُمَا لِلْفَلَّاحِ So brother, هُمَا is your مُبْتِدَى and لِلْفَلَّاحِ is your جَعَرْ مَجُرْ شُبُ جُمْلَ خَبَرْ Alhamdulillah Okay Number Nine. Ahaza nit tabibani. Ahaza nit tabibani. Min in Kaltarra. Are they from UK? La. Huma min Faransa. Huma min Faransa. What is Huma? Muktada. Where is our khabar? Min Faransa. What is Min Faransa? Jar Majru. Shubu Jumla khabar. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Fi kariyati masjidani sagirani. Now see here, fi kariyati. How many words? Three. Fi half chair. Kariyati is a majroor. Wa huwa mudaf. And ya mutakallim mudaf ilayhi. Fi kariyati jar majroor shibu jumla khabar muqaddam. And what is masjidani? Mubtada. Is it marfu? Yes. What is the sign of its marfu? Alif. And what is Sagirani? Nat. Mashallah. Mashallah. Beautiful. Huh? Beautiful.